Hey, what's up? This is another episode of Watch You Strap In. Sorry for the road noise, but I'm actually driving. But I'm on a straightaway, and it's relatively quiet, so uh, don't uh, brag on me too much. I'm gonna do this. Try to do this quick. Obviously, this is uh, themed for a particular day, and the date on the date window being a force to indicate what day this is. Yes, it's Independence Day, and uh, yeah, I don't usually go so uh, patriotic with my color schemes on my wrist wear, but today would be one of the rare occasions that I would do so. Why the hell not, right? I was born in America, uh, I work here, I live here, and uh, yeah, it's uh, been pretty good, except for the COVID thing, <laughs> but that's pretty much everywhere. So anyways, um, back to this uh, episode, these aren't watch reviews, but just a casual wristwatch check of the day, and with a strap of choice, and uh, today this is the Yama. Uh, Superman Heritage GMT. Uh, this is a limited edition model from Noman Watches. I believe it's pretty much the only place you can get this. Well, not anymore. I'm pretty sure that they're all sold out now. Um, and they are lumber, numbered limited editions to 100. So it's a true limited edition, not a thousand, not two thousand, certainly not five thousand or nine thousand. Um, yeah, so um, it's. It's, it looks good, and I think it's good to know that this is a particular look and style and all that that will not be easily repeated uh, on the streets. You know, you won't likely bump into anyone else that will have anything like this. Um, if so, well, then they got good taste, and it's a rare occasion, right? <laughs> uh, anyways, um, yeah. Uh, t- this is a, just a red, white, and blue NATO strap. Pretty standard decent quality uh it's from noman watches it actually was gifted came with the watch when i purchased it sometimes they do have promotions where they will send you a free strap along with a particular purchase so this is yama sometimes they do it with certain seikos and i think steinharts perhaps other ones as well but uh not always um but uh yeah haven't really worn it on this uh, strap yet again it's probably a little bit too much red, white, and blue for my taste. I probably, you know, the, the bezel and the, the watch itself is usually enough, but um, it's it's fun to sport something just to really show off some, some colors when the occasion is right, such as today. And uh, this actually is a 20 mil uh, st- strap. Um, and these are 19 millimeter lugs. And uh, yes, uh, this is annoying for some people, but you think about it, 19 millimeters is kind of a standard. Uh, m- maybe not in the modern sense, although if you look at some number of watches these days, some newer ones, they do seem to be going back or at least using 19 millimeter lugs because it's proportionately perhaps better for a particular watch size, uh, which this one is 39 millimeters. Yeah, sometimes they do it with 40s, I think. But uh, yeah, I think 30, you know, 19 millimeters was, to me at least, was a standard for vintage watches. Uh, my Rolex vintage, uh, what else, the Vacheron Constantine, uh, all have 19 millimeters. And if you look at some other ones, I'm sure you'll find that that's not actually all that uncommon. So I don't know why people bitch and moan about it. I mean, either squeeze in 18 millimeters or not even squeeze in slip it in i guess but i don't like the extra gap i'd rather squeeze in 20 millimeters uh straps and uh this is one it came with it i might as well use it and what helps is i'm utilizing curved excuse me curved spring bars so um that actually helps you know just giving that curvature adds a little bit more Basically, it adds a little bit more surface on the top of the, the spring bars, right? Because they're curved, they're not straight across. So if you actually measure it, it's probably technically uh, wider than said 19 millimeters uh, for these curved spring bars. They're probably maybe closer to 20 in a way. So, you know, it just it gives that extra surface and, and play for the straps to kind of mold and form into a uh, slightly tighter lug width such as in this case and uh yeah it's fine you know you might have a little overhang or or you know but i think that looks having it look a little bit more thick or 
I don't know if the word plush is the right word for it, but you know, if it kind of uh, just c- comes out a little bit more, you know, makes it look a little bit more fuller on on the watch, is better than you know going skinnier, you know, with an 18 millimeter, which will fi- fit and just fine. But just sometimes seeing that gap between the lugs is, I think, more unsightly than having a strap that's slightly wider that fills in the gap, if you know what I mean. Anyways. Uh, rambling on enough let's just get a couple of shots from a distance give some perspective uh yeah gotta love the yama superman heritage uh line they're doing great things with it lots of variations now and um i do look forward to that new fly graph it's just a completely different watch but uh uh pretty damn tempting <laughs> anyways uh, that's it very concentrating the road and uh i'll see you in the next later